Hey everybody and welcome on back to Minecraft. Today we are going to be building up an ultimate survival base underwater. It's something that I've been really wanting to do for quite a long time. I feel like Update Aquatic being 1.13 was so long ago and since that kind of passed and then we moved on to 114 and now 115, I've really stopped caring about the new ocean bombs just because there's so much other stuff that I would rather tackle. So today we're going to be taking a look at everything that we have in here that you just saw. We're going to be building all that stuff up and I am so excited to be showing off this brand new ultimate survival base in here. So if y'all are excited for this one, please be sure to hit that like button down below. But we're already getting started here. So what I want to do to begin with is bring ourselves over to a warm ocean biome with a bunch of coral in it because coral is very colorful and it looks so pretty. And over here, what I'm doing is just clearing out a ring in the center and lowering the terrain down. So it feels like we're almost like sunken down and all the sands are starting to sweep over the top of the base that we're doing. I know it's a little bit dark in there, but it'll brighten up here in just a second. I wanted to really play with using sea pickles and everything like that to bring a lot of life and light and just color into this area. So we're going to use a lot of sea pickles. We're going to use a lot of cleaner textures on the building themselves, bring in a bunch of coral to be like added effects on top of it. So in the center here, we have a big sandy ring and then I'm using some smooth quartz as well as some quartz pillars along the outside. And then this is andesite being our actual walkway or swimming way, I guess you could say. And then throughout this point, I wanted to start bringing some rings around here. One thing that I found was really cool was using a full block of the prismarine and then covering it with a half slab on the top and then adding another half slab on the prismarine on top of that one. It allows us to create this cool ring effect that you're seeing right there where there's that little bit of the half slab in there that you can see that next layer of block behind it. I just thought it was very cool. And then I wanted to bring that out into just a quote covered walkway to keep ourselves out of the rain, obviously, and then filling in everything around that inside the center. As you can see in there, we have a cool little fountain of sorts that is sprouting a giant blue coral just covered everywhere with coral to it. I thought that was a really fun one. And this one did take me a little bit of time to get this ring done correctly just because I kept messing up with it. But it was one of those things where we're building on an even width for it. It's only six blocks wide. And I think it was that that was kind of messing with me, but I, I had a lot of fun with it. What I've been really into recently is challenging myself as a builder, which I'll talk about in a few videos coming up here soon, most likely. But it's just kind of taking on those styles or taking on those different parts of Minecraft that I never really do. This is kind of stuff in the game that I've re never really spent a whole lot of time messing around with. And I'm in this point right now where I feel comfortable as a Minecraft builder, but I don't want to get complacent as a Minecraft builder. What I mean by that is I want to keep growing. I want to keep expanding. I want to keep trying new build styles. I feel like I have about a half a dozen to a dozen build styles that I can confidently build in for a very, very long time and make something really cool looking. But there's so many other build styles that we can experiment with in, inside of Minecraft. So in this one, I wanted to try something that I haven't touched for a very long time, being this underwater Atlantis-ish style ruined place that we have going on here. A lot of rounder structures. I haven't been doing very many round things. And one thing that I really enjoyed out of this one was using a lot of extra depth inside of the builds here. As you can see, there's a lot of those little slits with the half slab. They kind of break up the texture and everything we have. But anyways, coming into our first, I'm calling them biodomes. Uh, drained out this area in here and for our ultimate survival base we obviously we need to get a food source we need to get some crops in here we need to get some animals we need to get a storage room a bedroom and another portal and i figure that's kind of everything you need to survive inside of minecraft world and maybe we probably could have added in a potion brewing station but you could throw one of those in anywhere anyways and here what we're doing is we're filling this entire dome area with a bunch of wheat seeds i figured it, that'd be a great way to get a first rudimentary form of food obviously bread probably isn't what we want to be doing throughout the entire time that we're playing minecraft so we're going to be shortly jumping over here to a ravine that was right next to this ring that we had i didn't plan this at all a lot of this build i just did as i was going along and just kind of found new things to try out and i found this ravine so i wanted to fill this entire thing here with air i guess uh, so we're going to be covering the entire thing with glass you can see that glass wall i made there on the edge and i'm going to be draining that entire center which then unfortunately is going to kill a lot of that coral but i love that on top of on top of glass you can add like bone meal sea grass and coral and all that cool stuff so we're able to get some detail on top of this and it's not just totally clear 
But going inside this one, I've drained out the entire thing and I wanted to turn this into an animal pen. So I was, I'm going to be bringing a bunch of cows in here, turning into a nice grassy, bushy area. And I love the ruined effect that we get when we're going to be looking at it here in just a second. But I think it's so cool how it turned out well. I know it's pretty large and pretty boxy, but it's kind of one of those things where I just want to take the ravine that I had. And this is really inspiring me actually to do a ravine house of sorts. So if that's something y'all want to be seeing, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And also while you're down there, if you wouldn't mind giving me a like button for this video here for this one, I would greatly appreciate it and subscribe if you're brand new. Why the heck not? You're watching the video this long already. <clears throat> But coming in here for the rest of the build, you can see that I brought in a bunch of these cows and I wanted to start bringing in some leaves along the side. I felt like this area is dried out and was looking a little bit boring not having all the colorful coral in here. So for all of those smooth, cor smooth quartz pillars that I had, I figured we could bring in a lot of oak leaves and that'd be kind of a cool creative way that we could fill in that area and make it just a lot more interesting. So as we're moving throughout this last structure right here, you are gonna see a structure off to the right hand side. I was dumb. I forgot to hit resume when I was recording something, so we missed a little bit of the building action here. We'll show it at the end and doing a cinematic part thing going on there. But anyways, what we're moving over here to do is the storage room, bedroom, house of sorts. I figured we could combine those in together because I personally like to have my items very close to me when I'm sleeping or when I wake up, when I come back to my bed or something. I don't like to have to move to another storage room. Typically, I leave a bed inside the storage room and that's the one that I use the most. And coming up here, we're just adding in a top and smoothing smoothing this one out. I want this one to be a bit longer and wider than just a regular circular dome. So again, trying out with a new shape that I haven't really done for a while. And I want to give you all a glimpse here what it's looking like from above water. So that's where we're flying up here, way into the sky, seeing all of our squids and fishies running around all over the place, swimming around all over the place. But I'm really happy with the result of this one so far. It feels like it very much blends in with the coral biome that we're working in right now, which I think is a very important thing to keep in mind when we're doing one of these underwater survival bases. It doesn't want to, we don't want to make it just look completely out of place unless you're going for like a biodome or super industrial modern look. But even those, I feel like would have colors that would match the water or underwater portions. Like you think the Megalodon movie, that structure at least at least kind of made sense with it so much that a giant shark ran into it and Jason Statham had to go kill it. Sorry, spoiler alert. But anyways, coming in here, we have a chest room and just the bedroom and everything like that. And I figured inside of this one, we could throw in, I don't know, maybe a fish tank. Why we need more water around us, right? So filling up this entire little section down here with some more water and just adding in a bunch of fishies so we can have our own private collection of fish that we're keeping track of here. I thought it was kind of cool. I liked using a lot of the end rods for the lighting system around here. Boy, do I wish you could waterlog those things. That would be so awesome to be able to do. Maybe one day, we'll see. But anyways, that's most of what the build is. That's most of the building stuff that you can see here. Off into the distance, straight ahead of us, you can see that nether portal structure. I was actually able to find a way to light the nether portal while still making it look like it's submerged underwater so you can swim right into it. There's no airlock bubble to it, which I thought was really cool. So I'm really bummed that I wasn't able to show you off, show that one off to you here, but just running around, doing some seagrass, doing all that kind of cool stuff and we're able to get everything done and just doing a little bit of like a cinematic look around this place. I hope you all enjoy this one. The first one we, we will be checking out here is that nether portal that I was talking about. You all can get a much better glimpse of this one. I'm very sorry about me accidentally forgetting to hit resume and then I unpause the thing and slam my hands on the desk being like, dang it, I thought I did. I was so happy with this structure. But anyways, there's the nether portal right there. Looks like it's underwater, right? I think that I did a good job with that one. So it was pretty cool. And that's kind of the last structure that we had inside of this area. I do hope y'all enjoyed today's time-lapse video and maybe try, I, I got a challenge for y'all, try doing something inside of Minecraft that you're not comfortable with doing. Whether that's redstone, whether that's terraforming, whether it's a new build style that you've never really done, go ahead and try doing that. Try do, doing something down there and either send me a picture of it over on Twitter or send me a mention me in your post on Instagram. I would love to be able to see all of those ones that you all come up with. I think it's a really cool thing to take the time to really like try new things in Minecraft. I've been having an absolute blast recently. I've been feeling like I've been doing a lot of new things in Minecraft that I don't quite normally do. So if you've been seeing a few new things around the channel, it's because I've been having so much fun with it. 
and it's been really cool so i would love to see those responses from you all or all the pictures and everything like that or mention in a comment down below if you're recently trying something new and you don't have access to all that stuff it's a great place to leave it here because i'll be reading all of those but anyways everybody that's gonna have to do it for today's video thank you all so very much for watching please be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy and subscribe if you are brand new and thank you all so very much for the continued support and i will catch you on the flip side.